Hi, this is a extending response problem for connected objects moving in a horizontal straight line. So it says a car of mass 1,500 kilograms is pulling a caravan of mass 1,000 kilograms along a horizontal road. The car is connected to a caravan by a light rigid tow bar. So there's a tow bar here. The car is exerting a driving force of 2,400 newtons. The resistances to forward motion of the car and the caravan are 1,300 newtons and 700 newtons respectively. It says A. Find the acceleration of the car and the caravan. B. Draw a separate diagram showing the forces acting on the car and the caravan. Hence, calculate the tension in the tow bar. The driving force is removed, but the car brakes are not applied. Determine whether the tow bar is now in tension or compression. If the car brakes are applied gradually, the brakes of the caravan come on automatically when the tow bar is subjected to a compression force of at least 140 newtons. Find the acceleration of the caravan just before the brakes come on automatically and the braking force on the car required at that time. Okay, it's quite a long question. Please pause the video to read through the question carefully for yourselves. So, part A. Treating the car and the caravan as one object. Now, you're not expected to draw nice posh diagrams of a car and a caravan. Just draw them as a block. So, here we have the car and the caravan. We're going to treat it as one object. So, we've got a driving force of 2,400 newtons. We've got a resistant to that total resistance will be 1300 which is the resistance of the car and then 700 newtons is the resistance for the caravan that's going to be 2000 newtons we've got a total weight or total mass sorry not weight a total mass of 1500 plus 1000 car is 1500 the caravan is 1000 which makes a total mass of 2500 kilograms we have an acceleration that we need to find so drawing a, a good diagram will help you solve these problems so resolving forces or so d minus f is going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration this is newton's second law so that's going to be 2400 minus 2000 is equal to the two thousand five hundred, which is the mass times the acceleration that we need to find. So it's going to give four hundred is equal to two thousand five hundred times a. A will be equal to zero point one six meters per second squared. Part B, draw a separate diagram showing the forces acting on the car and the caravan, hence calculate the tension in the tow bar. So drawing now separate diagrams, force diagrams. Again, you can, don't have to draw a caravan, just draw a block and a car. So on the caravan, we have a mass of 1,000 kilograms. We have the tension of, in the tow bar and a resistance acting against the, that of 700 newtons. For the car, we have a mass of 1,500 kilograms at the same tension, acting in that direction, plus its uh, resistance to motion, forward motion, which is 1,300, and then the driving force, which is 2,400 newtons. We have now an acceleration of 0 0.16 meters per second squared. For the caravan, we're going to have T, Minus 700 is going to be equal to 1,000 times 0 0.16, Newton's second law. That's going to give T minus 700 is equal to 160. And that's going to give the, the tension in the tow bar is 860 Newtons. Now, we don't need to actually check this one, but we will for the car, because it should be the same. 2,400 minus the tension minus the resistance 1,300 has to be 1,500 times 0 0.16. 2,400 minus 1,300 is going to be uh, 1,100. Minus T is equal to 240. That gives T, again, is equal to 860. So it doesn't matter which way around do it, but it's a good little check to see if you've got everything right. 
The driving force is removed, but the car brakes are not re uh, applied. De determine whether the toll bar is now in tension or com compression. So if the driving force is removed, then the equation of motion now becomes for the car, zero, there's no, no longer driving force, minus T minus 1300 is equal to uh, 1500 times A. We would have uh, a different acceleration if um, the driving force is removed. And then for the caravan, it's going to be the same. T minus 700 is the mass times that same acceleration is the first equation. We call that equation one, equation two, and if we do one plus two, the t's will cancel out. We're going to get minus two thousand minus thirteen thousand minus seven hundred is going to be equal to two thousand five hundred times a. Now that gives a is minus four over five meters per second squared. Now we can substitute that back into one of the equations. So substitute back into two. We get t minus seven hundred is going to be a thousand times a that's going to give t minus 700 is a thousand times minus 4 over 5 then t minus 700 will be equal to minus 800 therefore the tension will now be minus uh, 100 newtons so now the tow bar is now in compression because the tension has come out to be negative so it's the opposite the force is acting the opposite way so before we had tension, if it's positive, therefore if it's acting in the opposite direction, it's going to be in compression. Now, when the, uh, so D was, um, so if the car brakes are then applied gradually, the brakes of the caravan come automatically. When the tow bar is subjected to a compression force of at least 140, find the acceleration of the caravan just before the brakes come on automatically and the braking force of the car required at that time. So when the tow bar is in compression, the tension will be minus 140. So substitute in to the equation of the caravan. So we've got minus, so it's this one here, minus 140 minus 700 is going to be equal to 1,000 times A. So it's going to give me minus 840 is equal to 1,000 A. Therefore, A will now become minus 0 0.84 meters per second squared. So that's the acceleration just, as the, just before the brakes come on automatically. And then considering the forces now on the car, so we'll just draw another diagram to make it clear. So we've got the, ten, uh, the tension in the, in the tow bar is minus 140. We've got compression. We've got the resistance, which is 1,300 newtons, which we've assumed has stayed the same throughout. We've got no driving force. But we've got an acceleration of minus 0 0.8 meters per second squared, but we now have a new force, a braking force, acting in that direction. So, resolving forces, we were going to get zero minus the tension which is minus minus 140 You're going to be careful with the minus signs here minus 1300 minus the braking force will be equal to 1500 times that acceleration we just calculated which is minus 0 0.84 so we're going to get uh, 140 minus 1300 which gives me minus 11 uh, 1160 minus b be careful with the minus signs is equal to minus 1260 so we're going to have that b minus b is going to be equal to minus 100 and therefore the braking force will be 100 newtons so this has been a video to show you how to calculate uh, forces um, with connected objects moving in a horizontal direction and this is an extended response question I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.